Hi, everyone. This is Diana Palm, the Love Witch, and this is the Awakened Empath Podcast, the show for empaths to awaken to their full potential by using their spiritual gifts to go from being haunted to being a healer and really empowering themselves and living a purposeful life. No matter if you're new to your spiritual gifts or if you're a seasoned professional, you will learn how to be a more awakened empath. Welcome, empath. Your soul requires beauty, cleanliness, and harmonious energy. Take a moment to feel how your body responds when you enter a beautiful or sacred space. When you are in a high vibrational space, you will feel clear-headed, more loving, more open, and more receptive. You may even feel euphoric. Some would say that when you're in these spaces, it feels as if you're having a religious experience. But it is more accurate to say that your inner spirit is attuned to the high frequency around you. This is your goal and should be your daily task to find and experience this energy in your environment or to create this energy within your home every single day. Some common places that you may experience a higher vibration may be a church, sitting nearby an ocean, watching the waves, viewing a sunset from a beautiful place, walking through a garden, appreciating the flowers, taking in the beautiful scents and aromas, sitting near a waterfall, watching and listening to the water, or perhaps even jumping into the waterfall and feeling the water around you. In these spaces, you may feel your spirit elevated and expanded. When you are feeling stuck or when you are feeling blocked, this indicates that you are not in harmony with your surroundings. It would serve you incredibly well to immediately shift this energy within your body by taking yourself to a higher vibrational place of beauty and tuning in. For some of you, those may be places where you like to meditate, contemplate, or write, but you can simply just tune in by listening. Close your eyes and listen to the water. Listen to the wind. Listen to the birds singing their song to you. Sometimes music can lift your spirit, smelling certain foods or sacred scents, connecting with nature and appreciating the miracle of creation. Gardening may connect you with this energy. Visually seeing awe-inspiring views. With vibrant color, a variety of flowers, or other beautiful and serene naturescapes. If you can, find the highest point in your neighborhood or community. There are reasons why the ancient people built sacred sites upon the highest point. There is an energetic vantage point to moving to the highest location possible. Not all land has this effect. If the land holds on to trauma from past events, you could inadvertently absorb those frequencies. So be sure that the land you have chosen to go to is spiritually cleared of these energies. The negative energies that could influence you are human suffering, battlefields, battles of any kind, places where strife has taken a hold on the environment, or where a large amount of humans have suffered in any way. You will know this because you will feel it. This is why I have chosen Sedona for my spiritual retreats to help you let go and level up in life. I will bring you to energetic alignment spots for your highest spiritual absorption. If that's something that calls to you, be sure to check out the link below this podcast. 
And if you're at home, I urge you to create or find a sacred space for your soul to flourish. Thank you for tuning in with the Empowered Empath Podcast. To reach your full potential as an empowered empath, be sure to check out my online courses and private healing sessions at www.dianapalm.com. And be sure to share this podcast with an empath that you know and love. We'll see you next time.